Hey guys, welcome back to Chai Man's videos. And today I'm really pleased to bring to you HGIBO Premium Bandai Rides Custom EO Frame Sheeting Ride and Go. Managed to uh, get them done uh, last night and put some finishing touches today. What I've done with the, this kit is actually just uh, the paint. I didn't really like the stock paint. I felt the yellow that um, they molded the plastic in was a little bit too mustard colored for my liking. And so instead I just gave them a coat of Tamiya TS yellow. And I liked it better. I just It was just a little bit lighter and more yellow for me. Uh, and then instead of using the red sensor sticker, I painted it green instead. I didn't really like, um, just when I watched the cartoon, when I looked at the pictures online and stuff, I really didn't like the red, I don't know. So uh, that's just a preference thing. So I painted mine green instead. And then I used the blue sticker here and I used the blue sticker on the commander's antenna. I'm probably going to take that off, the uh, commander antenna sticker off and paint it instead. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I also applied clear blue to this chest and um, to the back piece because with all the nub marks and, and all the cleaning and filing and sanding, it really kind of dulled it out as well as it just didn't look very good. So, but to me, it doesn't have sort of a matching blue with this that I liked. And I really like this navy blue color. So I just put a, a clear coat of blue on it and uh, I liked the way it turned out. One thing that I should note is because the Partisan came molded in the blue plastic on the tree with the parts here. So instead of being a gray or a white Partisan that, um, at, that's anime accurate, this one's blue. And I like it blue. I think it looks pretty cool, so I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to paint mine. Uh, really, that's all I did other than panel lining and, um, uh, yeah, and I painted the gun a lighter shade of gray. So let's get him fired up and spin it around for you. I used gunmetal on the thrusters, on the shoulder, the back, and just to touch that back one up a bit, and on the back pad as well. It is pretty much the, essential, the exact same as all EO frame sheet ins. The only difference is you do get the two uh, arm guards, those gauntlets, and the Ryusei Go Commander fin, and the Ryusei Go uh, shoulder boosters, which are also included with Orgas. Um, and Ryusei Go, as I said earlier, um, Premium Bandai's, that's the only way you can get these shoulder, uh, excuse me, the shoulder parts here. Uh, the Partisan's the same, same rifle, and articulation is exactly the same as all other EO frame sheet -ins. It's just that it's, I like the color, and I, you get the special camera um, lens, which I don't really like. I prefer the standard one myself, so... I might swap it out. I haven't actually uh, officially decided yet. Comes with a sheet of stickers. As you can see, I've used the camera lens and the two blue ones there. And I'm just going to bring him in closer for you to get a better look. I'm a big fan of the EOFRAME sheet and design. Uh, I will be, I've said I think in my previous videos, I plan to army build these guys. So I will be building and painting them. Um, recently just watching IBO again, I noticed Tewaz has a purple version. So I'll probably paint the purple one and put a Tewaz label on it. And then I probably might essentially max, I think I'll buy three more sheetings, but uh, if I can find them really cheap. So uh, that's probably the only way I'll get uh, that many. 